Hello people of Anta, Dead Dead here, back again with covering another Ready Player Me Hero Avatar creation video. I am going to be covering many of the errors what we can encounter within Ready Player Me itself, using the Hero Avatar creation. So, so far I have just put a cube as a headpiece and just weight painted it onto the head. And I've obtained a few errors. Bound and Body Y. Mesh name, material missing material, and too few textures. It, uh, how are we going to fix these? I'm going to start with the materials, and then the mesh. Okay, as we're here now in Blender, we have the exact same model what I've uploaded. Currently, we have no mesh. Quickly, we're just going to drop a mesh and create a new one. So now we actually have a material on the object itself. If we export this now as it is, we're going to get a separate error. We get now a few more errors just because we've added a material. So we've removed that one, but now say we must use a base color texture and must use base color texture, at least A. So how we're going to do that is by texturing it. This can work with any object itself. Currently we can see that it's white. But Ready Player Me does not 100% like that from the start. So I'm just going to quickly update it now to actually have a texture. How we update it to have a texture is that we're going to right click, add texture, and texture or image texture. And we're just going to drag that across to there. So we, it, we've made it a texture, but we just want to ha have a base color to it. I just want to turn that white. So, we can see it's white there, and all that, which is good. And we're just going to see the validation log. So far, we have fixed the mesh base texture. So that is all we need to do anything. You can use anything. You can add any texture you want on this. Like if we go here and open this, let me go and find a quick texture, what I have here. We have a picture from Kaf's Karaoke. It works, but I'm just going to keep it white for now. We have two other errors now with a mesh name. This is kind of the easiest one because we already see what the name should be. Mesh sh should be named one of those, and it should uh, material should be named one of those. Simple, completely easy, and easy to fix. So how we're going to do that is just we're going to pick go over to here. If you've installed Aline's Ready Player Me, then this is perfect. If you haven't, I suggest go and watch the first video and then come back here. But when we go down to RPM tools, we can just name the mesh, what we already selected, and just name it body. And we're going to make sure that it is just named body in everything. So now that should have fixed this issue now. We just have that one error. What is perfect? Completely perfect on what we need. Now, this bound and box one is a little bit more easier to think of of when doing things. There's two reasons why this happens. It's either there is no bottom to your object, so it causes an error, like what my one is, or that your whole avatar is way too big and needs to be shrunk down to the armature. As mine is small enough, I am missing a piece for the body. So, if I add, I want to fix that up, I'm just going to copy that, delete the cube, and I'm just going to put another one down here. here. On, no, wait, let's put it as feet. Let's make some quick feet here. I'm just going to put that there, and another one on the other side. So we have like feet on this avatar, and we're just going to quickly just put those into the armature by just parenting and just empty groups, and we're just going to wait paint them all automatically ourselves, or manually, not automatically. Empty group. Oh no, you're already parented. We need to go here and wait paint. Find the foot piece. 
and we can see that it's turned red. Now we do the same with the other one. Armature, this. Weight paint. No, you're going to be weight painted here. Boom. Now we're just going to have a few errors with this, so I'm just going to join those together. And I'm going to name you something different. I'm going to name this something different completely. I'm going to name you Bottom. Make sure everything is named Bottom. And we ain't needing those. I'm going to want this to be the same color as the body. So I'm going to leave it as that. So now we should have a bottom to this avatar. And we now have a top to the avatar itself. We still have an error. This is now a separate error for material. Material from Wolf 3D Body must have one instance. I'm going to quickly showcase how we fix this. This can happen with any material. But as we're using the Wolf 3D Body on two materials, and all that's properly, you can see right next to the name, we have the number 2. If we do rename that, and rename that to what the mesh should be, what is outfit underscore bottom, and just make sure it's named bottom, then we export it again, retry our whole process, and... We should now have a fully working avatar as of right now. I'm just going to quickly save. And boom, it's saved. It's understood that that has worked. I mean, this avatar is ready to be played in banter. I've done some slight modifications to the model, model right now. Which would showcase a few other issues we can find when building with hero avatars themselves. I'm just going to quickly... Grab this one so as everything is named. You just want to update it to the newer version. So it's all there, but if we save, we have a new validation error. Exceeded supported number of 67 joints in the skeleton. This is a very annoying but very common one when you import through Sketchfab. So I'm going to quickly show you how to fix that with this. So there's two ways on why this error has occurred. The way I've done it is by removing all the weight paints off the avatar itself. So there is actual no bone on the ar or there is no weight painting at all on this armature. The head is not connected to the head and the feet are not connected to the feet. But normally when you have this error occurred, it means that there's a slight little error that we have a, a tiny piece of it just not smooth enough and Ready Player Me doesn't like that. I'm going to now show people how to properly weight paint models. I'm going to start with the head. Or what I've put as body for now. And I'm just going to weight paint it here. So far you see that I've subtracted and all that. But if I go to add now... And if we go down to options menu here and auto normalize, that will help us produce a more smoother model. As with that, I press that button, the left key, once to paint that whole mesh. Now we just got to do the same with the others, or the feet. Still making sure auto normalize is on. Okay, let's just touch this top corner quick. Just paint everything. I'm going to ignore the other foot. Quick, so we can speed this up a little bit. So, there's the foot, uh, that foot and now in the right spot. That's perfect. Now I'm just going to clean up the other foot. Okay, just going to fix up the final few more pieces and then that should be it. We want it all to be solid, like a nice red. So now here, just going to head over to the other foot, just quickly paint that up.
and make sure that everything is painted red and we're just going to quickly upload and get make sure that everything is painted how it should be and try not to destroy the other one normally i would base feet off individual pieces or wait paint them properly first before you join them together by using control j or just j okay boom just destroyed up the other one just fix it up a little bit more Better, 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 better. Okay. I do see that little bit there. I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. Boom. So now we've all normalized everything on this model. Which is the only way I suggest people build avatars. We normalize our weight painting. Okay. I'm going to cancel that. And to re-showcase the new one. Showing that the avatar is now fixed. So boom. There. Save. The error has now been fixed. I'm now going to go over. Why... Transparency isn't the best option for any models, and I'm going to showcase how, if you've imported a model, on how to fix them. So I've just had very uh, much destroyed the other one by making a tra transparent material. We don't really see it much on this, but if we save it, we have a validation error, which gives us material body must be opaque. Normally, you would get like another error going along it, just going, oh, mesh should not be any transparent and all that. Mesh should have back face color on, but this must be opaque. I'm just going to quickly showcase how we can fix the opaque error. So I've in here, we can see that the head is transparent with a white. Not because I've inverted the faces. Because when we scroll down here in settings, it is set to alpha blend. Anytime you import a model, I suggest look at the mesh and just make sure if it's on alpha blend, turn it to opaque. So now in here, we can see that we have a few nice touches up of that. It just looks solid. It's just a solid plain white model. Upload new one, showcasing that it's fixed. Boom. All fixed. And it's all there. So far, these are the common errors we can have occurring to someone who is building within Ready Player Me. I know I've done the things kind of quick and I know, knew how to fix them and destroy them. But I suggest if you haven't have these errors and you are struggling, please go to the etiquette spot in this video. And you can find out how to fix them. Or I suggest in the Banter Discord, give me a at and I would come and give you a hand with it whenever. So I am going to end that here as me teaching everyone how to fix bodies and all that. And how we can continue the process on building avatars within Banter. Remember... All my avatars are, are available using the menu system. And remember, I do have one-on-one -on -one sessions available for those who want a little bit more help and ask questions. So I hope everybody is happy and has learned something new today. And I'll, and I'll most probably see you all in there. Bye.